and you can wear it like a necklace. That is cute. Here, let's go do this one. Oh, the tiny one? Yeah, because you're tiny. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> Half a day. My name is Martha Tenorio. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. So today we're going to learn how to weave a ketupa. Are you ready to learn? We're gonna make one of these? Yeah. And do you know what it's for? Like cooking things? Yes, it? actually. We're gonna cook rice. Like this is purse. what the ancient Chamorros made in order to make rice in. Oh. Yeah. To weave a ketupa, all you need is just one coconut leaf, just like this. Simple. Yes. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to separate the new hood or the midrib from the leaf. And I'm just going to use my thumbnail and I'm going to thumbnail. Yeah, go like that thumbnail. and then separate it oh. away like that. There you go. You want oh, to try? It's broken. Okay, I'm going to start it for you. And then okay, I just... go ahead. And then just put your finger in and just there. Like that. there oh, that's go. so and easy. And then go ahead and separate the bottom. Once we separate the new hood from the leaf, we can begin weaving the ketupa. The first thing I do is I put my hand between the two leaves. Then I take the leaf in the back and I go around the front leaf, around and the over. back, and then underneath my thumb. And then hold it down with your thumb. There you go, just like that. Now I'm gonna hold this leaf over here, that one. And I'm gonna turn it just a little bit to the left. So just a little bit like that. You got it? It's gonna rip. Oh, it's not gonna rip. It's strong. And then it just goes over the top like that. So look at that, just sit. Ta-da! <laughs> that was the next step. So this leaf here is going to go over this leaf and under this leaf. Come into my there, layer. Go, pull it through. That's right. And then pull the, pull the bottom out. Oh, wait, this one. Thanks. Yeah, we just took that leaf and it went over the top and underneath the bottom leaf, just like that. Okay, now look at the back of your hand and we're gonna use this leaf now. The same thing, it goes over the top and under this leaf. So coming from this direction. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and pull that through. Pull it all the way out, there you go. So again, what did we do? I took the other leaf and I went over the top and underneath the bottom and I slipped it through. There we go. So, so go ahead and take my hand very carefully take it out. Okay, okay. So beautiful. That's like the base. Yep, that's the base Mine's exactly. Mine's tiny because I have like a small. Hand. Plus, I yeah, I gave you a thinner leaf to fit your hand. Yeah. Okay, are we ready for the next step? Okay. 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 You see this? Doesn't that look like a little house? Okay, so we're gonna Is it take. Through? Yes, but from the back door out the front door. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. There you go. Hold it to the side. Now take the other leaf and put it from the front door out the back door of the house. Come here. There you go. <laughs> All right, so for the next step, we're gonna take this leaf on the left and we're going to follow the side of the, the house, so right? So put it under? So over this leaf, now under this leaf. Okay, I'm doing it like very focused. Oh, you're doing great. And then over that leaf and under this leaf. Oh no. Go ahead. Pull it all oh, the way no. through. Pull it all the way through. Oh wait, yes. Ta da. Okay. Ta -da. okay. We're going to do the same thing on the other leaf on this side. Go ahead. Do you remember which leaves to under. go under? Yep. So that one. Oh no. Oh no. And then which other? Okay. What other leaf? And then under this. This one right here. Yep. From the top down. Oh, from the top down. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Pull it all the Hold on. There you go. Turn it upside down this way now. And bring your two leaves together. Now, we're going to take the leaf on the back and move it to the right. So you're going to open it like this. That's right. And then, taking this leaf here, so take that leaf and you go over and under. There it is. Go ahead, pull it. Come here. Come here, George. All the way, and then over and under. So it's gonna go through this. Oh my gosh. You got it. There we go. There you go, pull it all the way through. And there you go. Now turn it to the other side. Do the same and thing. The same thing. So we're gonna go under, over, then under. 
not as easy as it looks. You got it? There you go. And then over and then under. Right here. Okay. <laughs> ah. Pull it through. Good. Pull it through. Oh no. Look what you just made. Hey. Right? So I'm going to finish this one just to repeat the instruction. The two leaves come together, then I open it up, then I take the leaf on the left and I go over, and then between the two parallel leaves, under, over, and under, and that closes that hole right there. Turn it over to the other side, and I repeat the same thing, over, under, keeping it between the two parallel leaves, over, and then <coughs> under. And now we have our ketupas. Hey! So now, are you ready to fill our ketupa with the pugas? The pugas is the uncooked rice, right? You need to pull the leaf out. So pull out yeah. My just one okay. time out of Wait, there. Uh, uh, there we go. Which leaf? Oh, Either one. one. And now we can put the pugas into that. And you only Shut want to up. fill it up halfway. Okay, it's satisfying to touch uncooked <laughs> rice. I just love it. I love the feeling of touching it. And then, <laughs> once you fill it up halfway, we can close up the ketupa. You know why we're filling it up halfway only, by the way? Because when it's cooked, it gets bigger. Exactly, there it's gonna expand, and then it's gonna fill up the whole ketupa. You're too smart, young lady. Why do you think it's important that we learn how to weave the ketupa? So we can eat good rice. Yeah. The ancient Chamorros, when they first came to Guam, this is one of the weavings that they brought with them. And when I was a little girl, I learned how to weave this by watching my grandmother and my, my mom do the weaving. And I would sit on the floor and they would, after they weave it, they give it to me. And my job was to put the pugas inside, like what we did. Oh, just yeah. shove it up with... And then we would cook it up and eat it in the fiesta. These are actually the three most common ones from the Chamorro culture. Hands. But this katupa here, it's from my it's, baby hands. It, it's very special to me because this is the one katupa that I learned specifically from my grandfather. And I've never seen this particular style from anyone else. So along. tiny. Isn't it? It's so cute. What do you weave most? What do I weave most? I think I mostly weave baskets and hats. I tried weaving. But you know what's my favorite thing to weave? What? Katupas. <laughs> <laughs> I can make so many things with them. And I put like... Uh, candy inside or pugwa and give it away. Rice. I can make lace with it. So I would attach it together and I make graduation lace and birthday lace with it. And I can also use Joker. it. Choker. My one year in uh, college, I made them out of ribbon and I used this to decorate my Christmas tree. So today, I actually brought some rice that I cooked in the katupa. Would you like to try some? Yes. Okay. And you can use scissors to open it up, or you can just undo the weaving. Hey, yeah. Juicy. Okay, go ahead. Give it a try. Come here, George. Hmm. <laughs> you like so it? So good. Right? Thank you. Did you enjoy today's lesson? Mm-hmm. Me too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this.